Any questions from the audience here, live? I'd like to know if uh, you're going to come up and play in Scotland. Are we going to do any gigs in Scotland? Where's Scotland? I don't know the answer. Where? The actual answer is we, we haven't got any dates in for this year. You don't need to know where it is. <laughs> Apparently we don't need to know where Scotland is. Do we need a passport for Scotland? You do. You do, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if they had their way, yeah. But at the moment, no. Yeah. Um, we're, t we're talking with promoters at the moment about gigs for next year, um, but nothing will happen until till after, well after Christmas. But Scotland's on the list. Without a doubt. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody? Oh, there's one. Andy Edwards, where are you? It's Germany. Or... Have I got that one? Yeah, I'm there. Right. Is Germany question? on your list too? And what do you do to stay that incredible to fit? What are you doing to stay that incredible fit? You are absolutely fit when you see you on stage when you're, when you're drumming or when you're, when you're performing. What are you doing? I walk 12 kilometers every morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I walk, I do 12 kilometers every morning. Yeah. On the end of the yeah, 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 that's right. I, le I left Denmark about a week ago walking. <laughs> Hang on, I've left my phone, otherwise I couldn't work that out, but it's a good few days. Huh? Did you walk 500 miles and then walk 500 miles? Oh, very good. We like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Anybody else? Andy Ray, Edwards, so please come back. Over to you. Yeah, I want that. There we go. Thanks, guys. Uh, Question for Steve. I know you're a fantastic singer in your own right. What brought you into the Dom Powell band? What was that? Well, my mum. My mum always said I was special. <laughs> Special needs. Yeah, I always had a sneaking feeling I was a forceps baby. <laughs> and uh, one thing led to another. <laughs> and I wound up with Don Pearl. Yeah. Couldn't have asked for a better bunch of mates. So, you know. Thanks guys. Uh, I'm Dave from Macclesfield. Quick question. How did you choose that song, I Am The Beat? It was brilliant by the way. How that did you choose Craig. that song? Brilliant. That was Craig. We actually, the, the first track we did was Let There Be Drums, which was a, a charity thing in COVID, which you, some of you, anybody buy it? Anybody got it? Yeah. I love you all. <laughs> um, and we, we wanted to do a track with Bev, Don and Bev, because we just wanted to, but we couldn't really find a suitable drum track that had, that had, two, to, that had two drummers on, other than the Glitter Band, which... I was, it's not a good thing at the moment, is it? Yeah. And then, uh, I think she's gone for the night there, but our, our, uh, our plugger, who does all radio stuff for us, uh, Sue. Are you still here, Sue? No, she's gone home, yeah. Um, it's getting late, isn't it? Yeah. She just mentioned the track. Um, she, she worked on it as a plugger when it first came out in, I won't tell you when, because it would give her age away, but it was 1981. Uh, and she said, I, I, I am the beast. We were just having coffee and we were talking about music. And she said, I am the beast. And it, then put it round different. Then instead of having a track with two drummers on, we had a song which is ostensibly... Pause. It's a good word, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, ostensibly. With that, uh, thanks, mate. Yeah. It's 23 points in Scrabble. Got to be. Uh, was, a, was a I am the beast, beat being drummers. So it was, um, and when, when we listened to it again, it's such a great song. So, uh, so that's it. That's the, the story behind I Am The Beat. Next question. Thank you. I've got some written ones here. Oh, OK. Let's do that. Yeah, you've got your glasses on. 
We just did this live one first. The guy had his hand up. He just swear got to the microphone. Is that right? Yeah. Sorry, I can't see. No, he's 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 got a mic. Got all thanks. I just want to. I just want to ask you. Is there any plans to write any your own music? Have you written anything? And who is the instigator or who actually writes the music? Yeah, well, we will be writing our own stuff, are we? Everything. Yeah, we'll be sort of doing it up between us all. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a union between a lot of us. It's a band. Yeah. And we write as a band, yeah, effectively. Right, okay. we, and we've already done uh, one, one, two, no, two releases. We've written two already, which have been released. Yeah. Uh, a bit of a teaser because we haven't even got this one out yet. But the the track after this, which isn't finished yet, yeah. is a is, is a song that we wrote. Song what we wrote basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's next. That's after Christmas. Well, after Christmas. That's that's. What? Are you writing the lyrics? Yes. I, I don't know you did. Don't, yeah, yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah. He's written all of it. Don't. Normally the lyrics Don and I wrote together. Right. It's that's between us. Yeah. I, I can't sing. Yeah, yeah. But if I could sing, we could. We didn't have him. If I could sing. Is it gonna be harmonised? Again, there's no there's plans, but not at the moment. We we we've got this track. There'll be another one, and then we'll see what happens then. But we're, there's a lot going on in the background in terms of writing and you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, can, I, can I ask one of the ones that was sent in uh, from Jack Humphreys? Jack, I, th I don't think I think he might have left actually for the time. Um, I can't read it. <laughs> uh, I got this prescription. I can't see. I tried I was a teaching old path before you became famous. That's it. This is from Jack. Did you, obviously for Don, yeah. did you know Bev uh, if before you both became famous? Yeah, we used, I remember watching Bev at Wensbury Youth Centre when he's with Jenny Lane and the Diplomats. And that, yeah, that was back in about 64, I think, something like that. And, uh, and then he was with, with Carl Wayne and the Vikings and obviously then the move after that, you know. So, and then, he, and then it became ELO. Okay, and so, and we, we did quite a few shows in the States in the 70s with the ELO as well. So, you have known him for a few years. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, you know. yeah. Where are we? It's, I loved him, it's great. And I liked him when he was with The Move as well, that's when I first heard him. With Denny Lane and The Diplomats, and, and then The Move. After that, you know, great. Guys, can we just say as well, if you are going to ask a question, can you just raise your hand so I can get the microphone to you because you, are, you will be on the video and your voice will not be on it. That's so, thank lovely. You. Thank you. Uh, uh, Peter Hawkins. Is it Hawkins? Are you still here? Yeah. It's a great question, but if we answer it, we'll be sued. <laughs> <laughs> We'd so have, we'd have to kill you. We, we would just if somebody had kill us, basically. Let me have a look. Have a look. Have a look, have a look at that. You decide, Don. Yeah. Well, no, 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 I'm not answering that one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know what it is, but, yeah, but no, it, it's, it's one, yeah. seriously, yeah. it's, it's uh, something we could commit yeah, on. on I know. I'll find the horse's head in my head. The answer is, the answer is, he never touched her, it's an ugly rumour, he can explain everything. <laughs> Got another question from the floor here? This is not so much a question really, this is Gary from Black Country Radio and the guys have been on uh, promoting their previous singles and it's not a question, I'd just like us all to give a big cheer, I'd just like to say how fantastic it is to see Don, Craig and Steve back in the same band. Yeah. Thanks, Gary. It's great. It is great. Yeah. Okay, who's? Can I do one? Who's no miss? Who no miss? Right. No miss is Chris. Is, is this is to uh, Don Powell. Okay. It's in. It's in capitals as well. Yeah. When you're gonna get your hair cut? <laughs> He 
three wins. That's a bit personal. <laughs> Is Roo still here? Roo, where are you? Read your own bloody question out. Okay, okay, guys. How did you all feel when my Sharona got to number one in the heritage chart and realising that it was the fans that voted for you? How did you feel when Sharona got to the charts? All my life I wanted to be somebody. And here I am. <laughs> Oh, I, I would just say we felt we felt over the moon. Yeah. It's absolutely really? incredible. I don't care what anybody says. We get the greatest feeling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot, guys. Yeah. I'd also like to say a, a big thanks to Mr. Craig Fenny because he worked his tits off on this. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Martin! That's me. Martin! Uh, where? You there. Read it out. Come on, I can't see What did I ask though? Go on then. Right. I heard somewhere that the soundtrack for the film Flame was laid down before you actually went on to film it. Yes. If the film hadn't happened, did you have a working title for the album, or what would it be called if it wasn't Slain uh, Flame? Good one. Good one. Uh, I wouldn't have a clue. Because I mean, it was meant to be, you know, sl uh, uh, Slain in Flame, obviously, from the movie. And that's why, that's why the word is written. The, the songs were written, written for the movie, they were written anyway. And they just happened to be just slotted into the movie, wherever it fitted, sort of thing. And how does it feel? Were perfect for the intro of the movie with the furnace going out, you know. But uh, I think it would have been a single anyway, regardless of the uh, the movie, you know. So yeah, yeah. With the album have had a different title. What would they have called the album? Uh, the film hadn't happened. Good question. I don't know. Okay. I don't because obviously it, it fitted because of the in flame, you know. But. Uh, uh, I wouldn't have a clue what we would call the album anyway, you know, so, yeah, Slade in Flame on the Moon or something, I don't know. <laughs> I like that, that's a good title, that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, the yeah, opposite lady. Yeah, another, another question coming. Oh, here we go. I have two questions, actually. Um, I can see you as the youngest in the band, uh, but I wanted to know... Stop again, Right, two questions. I have the uh, first one is I can see you're the youngest in the band, but what is the age of that particular gentleman, and what is the total age of you all adding up together? <laughs> total age is going to be, but I haven't got a calculator. <laughs> We're all over 21. <laughs> and under pressure. Well, I've just started shaving. <laughs> you have to be back at the hall soon. We have to our meds. So normally, normally before. Right, right, how old are you? Uh, oh, that's quite, quite, quite. Twenty-four. Three hundred and five. <laughs> See, it's, it's a bit skewed because. How much is it? The top age is 336. Yeah, yeah. It, I'm the 36. I know it. I know it. Any more questions on the floor? That. Because actually we're running a bit low on time now, so yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we have actually got to be back at the home, yeah. So, <laughs> well, we we, we, usually, we usually at the end of a gig we usually do some drugs, you, you know, like sonatogen and uh, acid reflux. That's always a killer. Yeah. Um, thank you all for coming again. It's been fantastic. And thank you for your support. Thank you for buying the merchandise and we love you!
Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for the Don Powell Band.